Okay, so simplifying your curriculum so it works in your home. Um, once you get your curriculum, the first thing I would do is look through not the stuff that your child is going to read and do, but look through the front and look through the back of the curriculum. The next thing I tend to do is look through the first chapters because usually most of that material is review unless it's something that your child has never done before. The next thing I would do is have a highlighter. And I would basically, in the book, for those of you that like to resell your curriculum, don't highlight. Um, but I would basically write it down or highlight where your child is going to start and where your child is going to stop. And then, between those chapters, divide it up in your school year. Don't feel overwhelmed ever that you have to finish any book that you start. Because as we all know, it doesn't matter where you're learning who you're learning with in and out of a school system, books are never completed. They're there as a guide to help you teach your child. The next thing I would say about simplifying curriculum in your homeschool is simply knowing when to slow down and when to speed up. If your child is struggling in a certain area, that is the time to slow down. Starting by mapping out what exactly you're going to teach your child for the year gives you the room to stretch things when they need to be stretched. And when things don't need to be stretched, you can speed up past what they're learning. The easiest way, depending on the way your child learns to slow down and really dig into something is to get books from the library, pull up videos, all of these online resources that you can pull more stuff from, whether you need more worksheets or whether you just want them to see it from a video where somebody else is teaching it a different way, sometimes that helps. Everybody doesn't learn the same. So, you know, sometimes you have to pull out stuff from different sources to make it really stick for your child. Next, do not let curriculum tailor your homeschool style. Meaning, because you buy something Charlotte Mason, don't make everything charlotte mason i love all the homeschooling styles but one thing i try to do when i get curriculum is to adjust it to the way we learn in our home so that it doesn't become overwhelming especially when you have uh, heavier curriculums like classical conversations they're very heavy and they take a lot of time um, out of your day um, but in those studies learn how to pull out um, what you need and tailor it to your homeschool so that you or your child is not overwhelmed all day and you're pulling your hair out because it's driving you nuts. So yeah, tailor curriculum to your homeschool no matter what type of curriculum you buy. The last and the biggest thing that I think that will help you simplify your curriculum in your homeschool is reading the lessons before your child does. This is a big one because sometimes I think that homeschool moms think that they're just going to open up this book and it's going to magically do all the work without them doing anything before the fact. <laughs> and I don't mean that you have to read the whole chapter, but you need to open it, look at what questions they need to answer. What are they in search for? So you know before they open the book whether they're going in the right direction or not as they're learning independently or as you are helping them do their work. Well, remember guys, textbooks are great sources as far as helping you know where you're going, what your child should be learning, but also remember that they shouldn't control everything that you do in your home. You don't have to follow them to the T. Do not let them overwhelm and stress you because that is just gonna make what you're doing as a homeschool mom harder. And that's all I have for you guys today. Guys, always remember, do what serves your home, and this mama will check you out next time. Bye. Because...